In the previous step, conformance testing has been introduced. Today we explain the sequence of the test procedure. Generally, conformance testing includes three steps, preparation, evaluation and reporting findings. The first step, before you can start with the actual evaluation, is to define the conformance level against which you are going to evaluate. The conformance level is given for each success criterion of AWC AG 2.0 guideline. Furthermore, it is important to specify the technical requirements for conducting the conformance test. That includes the combination of operating system, web browser, assistive technologies, browser plugins and so forth. The next step is to select representative web pages which will be the basis for the conformance test. For smaller websites, it is doable to evaluate all pages. Our example includes only seven web pages and all are available from the home page, so it is easy to find your representatives. Other sites, such as Amazon, represent a broad variety of pages, functionalities and designs. The following recommendation by the W3C helps to select a representative sample of web pages for the audit. Common web pages, typically the home page and representative linked pages from the home page will be the starting point. Other web pages that are relevant for people with disabilities, for instance, pages describing the accessibility features on the target website. Web pages reflecting essential functionalities, such as registration for an account, diverse page childs regarding forms, navigation and layout, and used web technologies, for instance, HTML, CSS, PDF or SVG. After the preparation, you can start with the actual evaluation. That means that you have to check all representative web pages against success criteria of the WCAG 2.0. The last step is to write a detailed report about the findings of the conformance evaluation. The report should include general information, such as name of the website, conformance level and technical requirements of the evaluation system. Furthermore, the report includes which success criteria were met and which were not. That is documented for each representative page. Finally, the findings are passed to the developer to improve the website accordingly.